After three weeks of racing every weekend, my body feels strong and healthy. But for the first long run of the week, my legs felt terribly heavy. For the first 30 minutes, I had trouble keeping up with the group for a slow jogging pace. After the run, we had strides and also worked on ground starts. Then we headed into the armory to work on some hurdle mobility. For Tuesday's workout, we had a fun descending pyramid of 600 all the way down to 200. It was very short and simple, but it was very effective and it was actually quite harder than it seems. Sometimes training on paper and how it actually feels is very different and this training was one of them. And after that workout, we headed into the weight room to finish our day off with a small lightweight session. Let's go, one, easy, that's lightweight, one. Two girls can do this, bro. Come on. Wednesday, me and Alvaro joined the sprinter group on the track for a light on and off tempo. What happens when the body is leading the mind, okay? When we're, when we're deciding to, to focus more on how our body's feeling or our body leading the way. The best way I could kind of put that for y'all is just going through the motions, all right? You show up for practice. Hey, I'm here. I show up. I did my run, but where was your mind at in that time? Because when we practice, the reason we practice, the reason all sports practice is so that we can get things right or we can work on some things for when we compete. So obviously there has to be some elements of preparation for competition in practice. You can't just do practice things and then go and do competition things and they have no connection. They have to be connected in some way. When you're doing these intervals, you're doing this work, where's your mind at? Wednesday is also an important recovery day for us. This is the day that we see the physio, that we get treated, that we foam roll, stretch, hop into the recovery boots, and my personal favorite, the ice bath. Thursday was a simple short run, and when I got back, I packed my bag and got ready for the next day. The day of the meet rolled around, and we were headed off to the track meet, this time not in a van, but in a bus, which gave us a lot more legroom. Okay, so there's no power right now, and they're giving out the splits like by hand. Look, look. Does that mean they're like I time's so. gonna be unofficial? I don't Yo, know. Yo, if we have a hand wash time for the 800, I would be so pissed. And since our race was only a few minutes after that, we got outside to do our warm up jog and then came back in to prepare to race in the dark. If you go for a run and you're tired, you say, oh, I'm tired today. Does that mean you're gonna have poor performance two days from now? You know, if I've won before, I can win again, even if it was 2019 or even if it was 2021. If I've won before, I can win again. On your march.
was the race? How was your finish? Bad. Uh, good. My last 200 was shit. <laughs> but the rest of the race, I felt good. I was doing 28, like very, very relaxed. Yeah. So it was good. But we had to work in the last one. I was pretty satisfied for my 800 meters. It was the first time that I've opened this fast for this event. Since we brought few more athletes for this competition, Yui was mentioned multiple times, putting us on the map as schools to look out for. For me, it wasn't my first time at this track since I had raced there the week before, but for others, everything was new to them. Being a team of almost only freshman athletes, we put up a good fight and performed very well as a team for this meet. After my race, I had few minutes to hop in the recovery boots and also watch other people on my team race. But before I had time to let the results sink in, I already had to prepare for the 4x400 meters. 4x4. Four four. We finished a prize here, but I'm not gonna lie. I got us coming in first, especially in our heat. Time wise, 3 sets. We warmed up all together as a team and practiced few exchanges to make sure that we were ready. Austin started us off with a strong leg that got us head to head with the other team in front, clocking at 50.59. Ray got the stick and went to work also getting us close to the other team at the handoff, clocking a 50.93. He gave it to Alvaro who kept our position all the way until the end, clocking a 50.09. Then it was my turn. I grabbed the stick and I knew that the guy in front of me was not going to stand a chance. I stayed behind him for the first 150 and I shifted into an extra gear to finish the last 200 meters all alone. I split an excellent time of 48.06, which is pretty good indoors and also considering that I had run the 800 earlier. That was the last event of the meet and we finished off with a positive note. Everyone packed up their bags and we all left off in the bus back to UE.